Hey guys, Pete with Crunch Time Coaching and we got a very special three-part series for you on YouTube on creating more power on the serve. Now I have a following of 12,000 plus passionate tennis players and I surveyed them and asked them anything and they could improve anything in their tennis, what would it be? And the majority of people were saying serve and specifically that they want more power on the serve. And why wouldn't you want more power on the serve, right? Uh, when you think about it, what can, a, what can a powerful serve do for you? Well, first of all, it can create aces, right? You serve the ball really hard and it's in a good place, your opponent can't touch it. The next thing can do is just, you know, a lot of errors, people missing returns. And then finally, a lot of easy second shot opportunities to where you hit a good serve, the ball does come back, but you're in control of the point. And if you look at the professional tour, the men's tour on uh, singles, the average point is four shots or less, and in doubles, it's two shots or less. And why is that? Because there's lots of big serves with good placement that's setting up easy second shots or on return of ball, uh, the balls is not even coming back. So today, what we're gonna do in today's video is we're gonna analyze where do we most want to focus on in our body to start generating power? And I think we want to look at two main areas because I, I know coaches talk about two main areas that it comes from, two main power sources, the legs or the arm. And, and, and what's more important, right? Is it, is it more important to just have a, a great live arm that's creating the power or do you need to use your entire body and specifically the legs to be generating most of the power? So we're going to come back and take a very close look at that right now. All right guys, so to, to get started here and figure out what's the most important thing, is it is it having a live arm or is it building the power through the ground, up through the legs, into the racket. Lots of people, call it, that's called the kinetic chain by the way, to where you're using the ground as power and building up the power into the racket. Uh, so let's take a look look at the two and you can kind of decide for yourself. So what I'm going to do here is I'm really going to look to use a lot of legs, jump into the serve and hit that serve. So, so here we go guys, using those legs, powering up, we're going to dig down in the ground and hit that serve. Pretty, pretty good serve there. So you can see I used my whole body, got the legs bent, went up, hit a pretty powerful serve. But let's take all that out of there just to see the importance of using your arm. In fact, what I'm going to do is I'm going to get on my knees right now and just hit serves from down the ground and seeing what kind of power I can conjure up from the ground. You can see that I'm still almost hitting the fence there. Here we go, going to set up just using that arm. So you can see there with that serve, just using the arm, we still have a lot of power, but obviously I'm, I'm able to get more power when I'm jumping. But let's just take a look at my, I'm just using my arm and standing, how much power. Try and take the legs out of it. I'm gonna keep my legs completely locked. Zero legs, zero jump. And just throwing up and hitting that ball. You see that I can still basically get the ball to bounce and go back to the fence. So to answer your question, you know, how much difference does, does the jump and using the body make? Not as much as you think. You, you're gonna get more power out of using your whole body. But, but let me tell you why it is crucial and why it is the absolute right way that you want to think of using your entire body, the kinetic chain, to ultimately get the most powerful serve consistently as you can. Because if I'm just using my arm, if I'm just coming up here all the time and just coming up and arming my serve, my arm is going to start to wear out. It's going to get tired. It's going to get hurt. It's going to get injured. When you just are, are just basically using your arm for, for all the power, that arm's going to wear out. It's going to wear out in a match. It's also going to wear out, you know, over time and you're going to get injuries and it's going to get you off the court. 
So what you want to think about is definitely using your entire body for power. One of the first things I do here is I come here and I like to make this little move, I call this cradle the baby, where I'm coming here and it's loading up the core. And then as I come up into it, I get a nice bend and jump up and I'm looking to uncoil all this in the body so that the arm is more protected. It's not just not about the arm strength getting the power there. So let's, let's take a look at this. So you watch, here I come, I'm gonna come here. I'm gonna get that turn up and hit. And you can see there we, we had a pretty powerful serve. So that's what I want you to th be thinking about as we go through this power series is that we need to be using our whole body. We want to use our legs, we want to use our arms, and if you're having trouble matching the two together, what I've got for you in video two, we're going to go through three exercises to start building up uh, coordination and power in the legs and three exercises you could start using to develop coordination and a very live arm that's got a lot of rhythm, that's got a continuous flow. And so we're gonna be back with that on video two and you can check it out somewhere around me. All you gotta do is click the link. There should be some kind of picture there for you. And so we'll be right back with video two. All you gotta do is click, stay on this channel, watch the next video. And we'll be back to show you three exercises for your arms, three exercises for the legs, and then we're going to show you how we, we build those all together. So thanks for watching video one, and I'll see you back in a couple of minutes for video two.